Say, where's my... <laughs> Say, Ray Charles. In our house, we had to watch Sanford and Santa. My dad used to say, well, that's the closest we'll come to, to being on TV, so we got to watch it. You know, that's what it was like back then. And then Chico and the Man, I think, came after that, and that was like a big deal. And he looked back on it, and it really was a big deal. Peter has always loved comedy and writing and studied writing at the University of Arizona in Tucson. Peter and I met at Second City Theater in Chicago. He wrote there and created original comedy there. And when we came out here, he started the Disney Fellowship pretty soon after. He worked on Anthony Anderson's show, helping run that show. He worked on Hope and Faith in New York. He had his own show, Greetings from Tucson, on the air. You know, of all the parts of my Mexican heritage that I'm most proud of, taking the extended family to the mall in one car to buy one item is probably my favorite. <laughs> Peter is a little boy at heart. And we used to have a hell of a good time with Peter. You know, it was a pleasure. It wasn't a job, it was a pleasure. Now he's got another family with the Wizards of Waverly Place. Alex! I hope you unloaded the dishwasher like I told you to. Shoot. I, I did! <laughs> Gosh, Peter Marietta is our show. <laughs> he's definitely the person who has kind of taught me how to shape Alex in a way that we're all proud of her. He cares. His heart is really into it. He's really committed. It's not just a job. It is a passion, and it, he's so good at it. Ooh, my football phone! Peter definitely gives it the set a very comfortable atmosphere. He's, he's, he wants to hear what you have to offer, and in a fun way. He's so funny, and he's so quick, and I, I love picking up on that stuff. Um, and he always knows where the funny is. Always knows where the funny is. It is a show for mainstream audiences. And it shows something like this with an executive producer that is Latino and a cast that also has Latinos in it can be successful for all across the board. And it's a great show. Uh, Wizards winning an Emmy, I think, was a huge turning point for the show, certainly for Peter um, in giving him the weight and the recognition in the greater community beyond children's television. So Peter has become more and more involved now in the community with LA's Best. He's being um, named Man of the Year. He and David Henry, one of the actors at LA's Best, they are taking working actors, which is Peter's way of saying celebrities, to teach the kids improv. And to really let the kids not just learn how to be real and funny and play, but to get to talk to and be with people they see successful in television and film and to know there's opportunities for them, that there's a whole world for them. I think with George Lopez, I think with Greenies from Tucson, I think with Wizards, uh, I think with Ugly Betty, you know, we've really shown that we can do it. The, the worry when you have so few opportunities is if you fail, that everyone that buys is going to go, well, that's it. Latino shows don't work. We can't do them anymore. But there's been enough now that I think it's no longer a question of, well, that's it. We can't do it anymore. Now it's just a question, what's the next one? It's really been an amazing ride.